Welcome to Welders. Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me here in the Adventures in Welding shop located somewhere along the Ohio River, deep in the Ohio Valley, near the big city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm not in Pennsylvania. Today we're going to talk about something in TIG welding I'm sure you've heard a lot about. Walking the cup. Give you a little demonstration of it, show you the technique. We'll take a look at the finished product. I'll give a shout out today to a couple of my fellow students, Hondo and Tyler, who are going to be taking their 2G tests on Monday. Good luck, guys. Now let's get on with it. And what I got set up here is just a little piece of uh, angle. That's yeah, about 3 eighths by 3 eighths, about 4 or 5 inches long. I've got my TIG torch hazel here. And I hope you can see in there, I've got just about an eighth of an inch to stick out. And the way we're going to walk the cup here on this piece is we're actually going to rest the alumina cup here. You can see it's sitting on there. Now with my stick out so short, we don't have any worry about hitting the sides or the bottom. So once we strike the arc and start welding, the technique is just going to be like this. We're moving it forward, rotating it side to side. Now I'm exaggerating this so that you get the idea of how it's going to work. Now this can be done on pipe roots, plate roots, just about anywhere you really want to do it. All right, let's get set up. We'll get an arc shot, and we'll put it all together for you. All right, so we light up with the cup resting on top of the groove there. Now I've got an extreme angle on the filler because I'm reaching over top of the uh, arc camera. And if you watch my right hand there in the uh, cutout, you can see all the manipulation that's going on in the torch, but basically I'm just moving it back and forth and pushing it forward. There's really nothing to it. You're washing that metal up onto the sides. Keeping a little bit of pressure on the filler rod so that it stays right at the leading edge of the puddle. That way you're adding metal and you're also adding a little bit of cooling effect to the puddle so that it doesn't get too hot and melt right through. Now you get out of position, adjust yourself, and that's the beauty of TIG. You can restart right there. Remelt where you were. Start moving. Oh, little bobble. We just keep on trucking. Right up until the end. Keep that arm moving with the torch. Keep your other arm steady. Keep that filler metal right in the pocket. Get to the end. We'll taper off. Add a little extra filler metal. Hold the torch in position until it cools down. All right, folks, here's where we started walking the cup right there. Imagine this <clears throat> aluminum filler rod I'm holding is my tungsten. <clears throat> We basically just progress down the joint. One of the nice things about walking the cup, let me turn around like this and show you here. I hope you can see that. There is no undercutting there at all. Those toes are tied into the base metal beautifully. You get a really nice ripple pattern and a very smooth face on your weld. So there you have it. There's nothing to it. 
Walking the cup is something you can do. It's not just another one of those welding mysteries. So give it a try and comment back here and let me know how it went. Like, subscribe, and comment. That's what keeps it going. And I'll catch you next time.